Dresser Kitty Swing here. Today we're going to draw Aff Mouse, Me Mouse, Donut Cat. So let's get started. To draw this cute cat, let's first start by drawing its eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a big circle. And come right across, say about this wide, and draw another circle. There. So then my two circles in, I'm going to make them draw so cute eyes. So let's add two small circles inside for highlights. And a curved line at the bottom. And shade in the top. If you want to follow the original um, donut cat plush, you would just draw like a big oval right here in the center. If you don't want to put draw so cute eyes. Hopefully you do. Just with the draw so cute eyes, you get to add some color to the eyes, which I think really makes it nice, extra nice. Okay, so right here, we're just gonna add lines at the bottom and same thing over here. Okay, so now that I have eyes in, I'm going to come to the sides right here and we're going to add a signature lash. So I'm going to come out with a curve and I'm going to thicken it up and then shade it in as well. So same thing right on the other side, but right here, curve and thicken it up. There. So now that we have that in, let's go above each eye. We're just going to draw a soft curve over each eye. And then in between the eyes, we're going to say about right here. I'll give myself a point right in the center. And from here, I'm going to draw two curves that come out for the mouth. There, so we have our cat mouth in. And then from there, we're going to have to frame the face. So let's go, let's say the top of our eye. Let's go out really close to the eyelash. I'll just give myself a point right here. So same thing on the other side. Come out close to the lash and about right here. Then we're just gonna go ahead and draw this big curve. And we're just gonna go make it nice and round. So let's bring this all the way down. And I'll just say, if I'm in my center, come down to say about right here. I'll just give myself a point, nice and low. Since I'm drawing pretty big, it just makes it a lot easier for me to know where I'm going. So let's go ahead and just draw this big curve towards my center. And then we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And connect. There, so one big <laughs> curve right underneath. Okay, so then now that we have that, let's bring this up. We're gonna bring this curve all the way up. To say maybe about right here, just bring it in. And I'll drag this point across since it's easier for my hands to draw the coming down on this side. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm just creating this big curve, like a little dumpling right around the eyes. Okay, so for the reason we're stopping here is because I have this donut I need to draw at the top. So just depends on how big you want to make your donuts, how much uh, space you'll leave in between. But I'll stop about right there. And from these two points, I'm gonna go ahead, imagine I'm drawing this oval. So I'm just gonna draw this curve right in the center. From there, I'm gonna round this off and create our donut. Nice big oval. 
and right here I'm gonna go up oops Sharpie's not working <laughs> and nice and tall so go right here and bring it in and connect there nice thick oval right then from there we're going to come towards the center area about right here and I'm just gonna draw a curve right in the center Look at my donut, do donut hole, and then right here, we're just going to go ahead and connect it at the bottom of another curve to create that hole. Then, now that we have that, let's draw some of the drizzle on our donut. Uh, let's say about right here. Go ahead and wobble my way across and back up. There. So hopefully now you can tell it's a donut and we're going to add some sprinkles later. Then from there, let's add the ears. So about right here, I'm just going to go ahead and pop in these ears. Come to this side right here and we're just going to bring it down. And so then let's draw the inside of our ear following our outside there so same exact thing on this side about here and I'll just drag a point across to about right here and then let's go ahead and draw the other ear round off the tip and bring it all the way down then once again just draw the inside and connect there, so we finally have the head in. Oh, and then some whiskers if you like. Let's come right here. Not sure if she has whiskers on her plush, but I'm just gonna add them because <laughs> it's a drawing, right? So it's much easier to do that. Okay, so then now that I have that, let's go ahead and draw the body. So I'm gonna come about right, uh, let's say about right here. And I'm gonna go up slightly, a little hump, and then bring it down. So I thought it was very important to draw this back of the body because that's where all the detail is, right? So let's bring this curve all the way down. And before we finish that, let's come back. Let's say about right here, right underneath this eye. I'm gonna come about right here and just kind of pop out this curve for an indication of a paw right underneath and then come over with a big curve all the way across for the tummy area so i'm slightly angling a little bit and then in this area right here we're just going to pop out a little foot so like i said it's very important to be able to draw the back of this cat because that's where more of the donut detail is right so or else we won't know what kind of cat it is really <laughs> Okay, so then now that we have that, I'm gonna add two little curves right here and then the other paw. So let's say about right here. And once again, just a little indication of it. I'm gonna add two little curves. And then now that we have that in, let's go ahead and we're gonna draw a tail. So let's come right here. I'm gonna pop in this tail. and tuck it in and then this part is where we're going to add some more drizzle so we're about right here to make it even more dono-ish go curve and curve up okay so then that is pretty much it i'll add a heart right here to make it my draw so cute uh, donut cat from uh, Mao. and so then in this area is where we're going to put a bunch of sprinkles but I want to do that when I'm coloring because I feel like the colors are so light that if I use a sharpie it's going to mess it up but you want to add a bunch of sprinkles here here and here so and to draw those sprinkles it's nice and simple I just want to draw a curve come straight down and then connect it so you want to draw them at different angles so you can start with the two horizontal lines first and then connect it with a curve or you can always start at the top and then angle and connect 
So hopefully that helps you to draw these sprinkles all over here to decorate this donut cat. And that is pretty much it. I really hope you love how this turned out and that I inspired you to draw it to fun and easy. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.